Happy Towel Day. We've got our towels on. Karen, we're ready. Karen, we're ready. We uh, have been uh, uh, not really actually hitchhiking to another galaxy today. The weather has been kind of bad here lately, and we're pressed for time. So we are doing this on the Internet Today Live. Absolutely. We have just read Chapter 3 of the um, Restaurant at the End of the Universe, and um, that will be posted later on hopefully within a year, uh, <laughs> because there have been multiple readers from around the world who have selected chapters. Their May 25th started yesterday, so we were able to get Chapter 3 done today, and we will we promise that we'll let you know when that Chapter 3 will right, be Right, right. Uh, there was a, a Tau Day ambassador who organized this event in Google Hangout, so we actually read today from that book. Last year, they read from the first book in the series, uh, Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy, and this year, they're reading um, the second book in the series. Mm -hmm. What's the third one? Do you remember? Mm -mm, I haven't gotten that far We yet. haven't got that far, but we mm -hmm. will. Next year, we'll read the third book. And um, we uh, have a little bit of trivia here for you, and I'll start off with this quote by Douglas Adams, who, by the way, Tal Day is in in memory of Douglas Adams and his body of work, and um, we're celebrating him today with, with this event. And he says, any man who can hitch the length and breadth of the galaxy, rough it, slum it, struggle against terrible odds, win through, and still know where his towel is, is clearly a man to be reckoned with. Or a woman. Or a woman. Now, I'm going to go back up here because we've just had a blast with some of these. Uh, they're so apropos to um, life as we know it today. My favorite one right now is time is an illusion. Lunchtime, doubly so. <laughs> yeah, we just missed our lunchtime. Yes. <laughs> but it was fun. It was worth it. It was very much worth it. So, um, You want to read another one? I'll do another one. Um, we don't have to save the world. The world is big enough to look after itself. What we have to be concerned about is whether or not the world we live in will be capable of sustaining us in it. True. That's a very true thing. It's an environmental. It's an environmental thing. It's stuff you'll learn at the farmer's market in July when you, you meet oh, one of the authors oh, down there. Right. Our, um, our, our focus on reason. the next program this summer mm -hmm. with uh, involving books. Um, it, oh, um, a learning experience is one of those things that say, you know that thing you just did? Don't do it. <laughs> remember that. <laughs> Others will help you remember. Don't do that I had a again. lot of learning experiences in my life. <laughs> Too many to go into now. Um, this is long, but, but I like this. It's funny. Go ahead and read it. Imagine a puddle waking up one morning and thinking, this is an interesting world I find myself in, <laughs> an interesting hole I find myself in. Fits me rather neatly, doesn't it? In fact, it fits me staggeringly well. Must have been made to have me in it. This is such a powerful idea that as the sun rises in the sky and the air heats up and as gradually the puddle gets smaller and smaller, it's still frantically hanging on to the notion that everything's going to be all right. <laughs> because this world was meant to have him in it and was built to have him in it. So the moment he disappears catches him rather by surprise. I think this may be something we need to be on the watch out for. We all know that at some point in the future, the universe will come to an end, and at some other point, considerably in advance from that, but still not immediately pressing, the sun's going to explode. We feel there's plenty of time to worry about that, but on the other hand, that's a very dangerous thing to say. So remember, <laughs> eat lunch first, because you never know when the sun will explode and kill us all. Okay? Oh my God, that's a very dangerous thing to say, Karen. But I like that part about where you said, don't worry. We need to hang on to that notion. Everything is going to be, be all, all right. right. Look, Kathy Chevis is in there. Hi, Kathy. <laughs> She's watching us. She's probably going to be uh, befriend us after this. All right, I saw another really cool quote um, by Douglas Adams. Where did it go? Well, there's one about the cat flap. Go back up to keep going right there. That was a good oh, one. Oh, a common mistake that people make when trying to design something completely foolproof is to underestimate the ingenuity of complete fools. 
And let's not make any further comments about the, the people you're viewing right now. Let's just move along. We never underestimate. Um, did we miss some at the beginning? That's why I was calling back up this way. I'll read this one. Read that one. Anything that happens, happens. Anything that in happening causes something else to happen, causes something else to happen. Anything that in happening causes itself to happen again, happens again. It doesn't necessarily do it in chronological order, though. You have to figure that part out. That's very true. We were not but, in chronological order today. No. For sure. But we had a really good time. We are stuck with technology when what we really want is just stuff that works. That's right. We were like, don't panic. It's going to work. <laughs> just figure it out. We did. And leave the hammer at home. <laughs> <laughs> really? Oh, all opinions are not equal. Some are a very great deal more robust, sophisticated, and well-supported in logic and argument than others. Again, don't, don't, don't take us. This, this doesn't really apply to us, but it, to y'all maybe. Our opinions might be robust and sophisticated, you know. We, we can back Let up. me know when you have one. <laughs> uh, now. Oh. I love deadlines. I love the whooshing noise they make as they go by. So the temptation to put this up tomorrow, the day after Cal Day, is almost overwhelming. So we are doing it today because, however, tomorrow might be your day off. I have to work. I try to resist, however, as tomorrow is my day off, and everybody knows that the next day is my day off, too. So, you know, when we get to it, we'll, we'll share. Yeah. Um, I'm always very sympathetic when I hear people complaining that all they ever get on television or radio chat shows is authors honking on about their latest book. It does, on the other hand, get us out of the house and spare our families the trial of hearing us honking on about our own latest book. Hey, Becky says, what's happening? <laughs> She's like, huh? <laughs> it's <laughs> towel day. Uh, you can have a towel with you for all sorts of reasons. Karen, you told us that you have recognized some reasons. Well, some of the reasons that, well, today is Tau Day in honor of Hitchhiker's Guide to the um, Universe by... The Galaxy. Of the, to the we Galaxy. We were going to hitchhike to Galax. Virginia. Galax. <laughs> yeah. But anyway, so today is Tau Day in honor of uh, the author. Um, What's his name? Douglas Adams. Do Douglas <laughs> Adams. That's, that's what I thought. And so there are uses for these towels. Uh, you can use them um, as you're hitchhiking down the road out of this universe or whatever. You can use them as cover to hide from animals, to get it wet and swing it around as a sign of distress, um, and anything else you need. You can bundle it up and carry your lunch in it or whatever. Or you could use it to bribe somebody to take you to the next town. Or like if it was wet and you want to sit down on a dry you towel could do that and walk off your seat. Um, we were, Mark, Mark, if you could visit the library today, he is celebrating. He has his towel at circulation. And we were joking about towels and um, how, you know, this is my Superman cape towel. I have a cape. Mm -hmm. So I have a superhero power. Once I take this towel off, I lose that power. But when when we were kids, well, this is really going to look crazy. We would pretend like, oh, we're Rapunzel or we're we're Mary or Joseph or somebody. Mm -hmm. We would uh, use these towels for props, acting, right. acting. And my towel today was basically I could fig I figured I could use it as a last rites kind of thing for someone. It needs to be a different color, <laughs> um, but wearing it around your neck like this means that you are a comf a comfort, a secure kind of person, a nice person. And if you wear it like this, that's not so good. But anyway, well, um, it's celebrated every year. May twenty fifth is a tribute to Douglas Adams. And, you know, um, Becky, on the cruises, you saw all those little towels folded up into animals and things in your um, cruise ship there. That would be great fun to do that. Maybe we can get you recruit you <laughs> next year to come to show us some of those things. That's all right. Um, anyway. Well, have we wasted enough of their time? Oh, wait. Here's those images that you were showing us about 
towel day too. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I I'll guess turn it around and hold it up. For it's no, not very no. focused. No, but you can ask us about it later. Yeah. Okay. No. Go to TowDay.org. We are the Towday ambassadors of to Ash County, and we're trying to spread the word. So help us share the word. And we've been on here 10 minutes, so I guess it's about right time to get off and, and, and go on down to another part of the universe. But we'll be back next year, May 25th. Mark your calendars. Be here. Yes, come join <laughs> us. It's so much fun. It is. Bye, y'all. Bye. <laughs>